now I'm recording the, the screen over here. So I'm going to say, my name is Carl Rainbird, and I've got my uh, friend over here, Da. And Da is an electrical engineering st student over here in um, Thailand. So I'm just going to explain to her the five rung rule. Now, the five rung rule is a good pro programming tool for your toolbox of PLC tricks and techniques. <coughs> And it's breaking the logic into five rungs. There are different concepts and twists on the idea, but in the end, the rungs are designed to follow a system of control that does the following safety, trigger, command, finished, and error. <coughs> and the safety is this rung is just what it seems a rung for safe operation. We put all the safe conditions that needs to be present prior to the action to ensure that the machine is in a safe state. All safety interlocks would go here. These interlocks prevent a specific action from happening and if there was some kind of fault condition like an e-stop push, safety limit or some hazardous condition. So the next one will be trigger. If all is safe from the safety rungs, our trigger is activated. This rung contains all the items needed to trigger the action, such as a part is in place and verified. Um, in that case, this rung will latch a coil and the finished rung will unlatch it later on. And the command, the command rung is interlocked by the trigger rung. The output used on this rung will command or drive an output to create an action. This kind of uh, duplication of the previous rung um, adds a little bit more clarity to the, um, the reading of the program. Um, so the finish rung, this rung happens after the command has been performed. It indicates that the action has actually happened and we are ready to move on to whatever happens after our action has been successfully completed. This rung can be considered to be a trigger for what would happen next. It is unrelated to performing a movement operation. In other words, it's not an action. Rung. And the error rung is just that. This rung is normally used for a fault state condition to indicate that there was some error that prevented the action from being finished. This could be a watchdog time or possibly something has tripped. So at first glance, it, w it could appear so this is just a whole lot of extra programming for nothing basically and you might be right in saying so and maybe it's a difficult case to argue but not impossible but in the end though I think the main point is that um, it allows us to um, take blocks of code and cut and paste them in other programs or even into other sections of the same code when things are standardized it will most likely be easier for the troubleshooter to default find anyway that's a simple concept of the five run um, rule so the idea, I mean, the crux of it is, is it's some type of standard. So if I can just pull up, um, where is it? There it is there. So here it sits over here. This is the, um, the actual implementation of the software here. So I've just lashed up a bit of code here in TIA, um, Siemens TIA. You know, it's, not, it's not functioning code, as you can see by the red squiggles. I haven't mapped the inputs or anything like that or the outputs. So here's the safety network. So remember it was safety, trigger, command, finish, error. So here's the safety network. So this is where we would put all the um, interlocks for safety. Yeah? So we have an e-stop and a light guard in this case. And the next rung, we would include that, um, that safety interlock here over here, or the flag for the safety interlock, and the action. So that would be the start button, press busy, and then we would perform a a trigger start button. So this is the trigger network. Okay? So this rung contains all the items needed to trigger the action. And this rung here is the command. So the command rung is interlocked by the trigger. The output used in this rung will command or drive an output to create an action. So there we go. So we start trigger and that drives an output. So in this case we're actually driving the output for a state, uh, a state machine. Um, the next one is the finish rung and this happens after the command has been performed, in any case that the action has actually happened and we are ready to move on to whatever happens after this, but in this case we're just going to leave it at that. Huh? So the press is complete, so that's a signal maybe coming back from the press or maybe possibly coming back from the state machine. And it says, okay, it's complete, so therefore we reset the bit. And lastly we have the error run, which is um, if, if the press is faulted for, for whatever reason. Right? So maybe a sensor is fouled or... or uh, maybe the presser is broken and, and uh, somehow managed to pick that up as, a, as an electric signal then we indicate a flag that a press is faulted and that's it that's the five run rule it's as simple as that you see that da what i have five we have five rungs look here see have five. one two, two three, three four, four five. five you see and this is the rules of, of programming in this in this way you see this is safety 
set the that's a trigger trigger and that's the command come on yeah and that's the finished and that's the error finished and yeah. error easy you see and if you come over here you can copy and paste see uh -huh. so there it is again but this time uh, we're not we're not triggering a um, or we're not commanding a, uh, a finite state diagram we're just commanding maybe an output to start the press so maybe the press is a standalone machine in this case uh -huh. so you want to copy and paste this um, you see copy and paste it's like that copy, copy paste boom as simple as that look I have one we have a new one now there it opens like that easy as that so I've just explained what this is a, a the five rung rule so this is a standard in programming a PLC so you too can learn how to do this you know, if you if you spend a bit of time or have the opportunity to um, to play around with these things it's not that difficult it's quite easy actually yeah? it just takes a little bit of practice and, and, and you can be quite good at it in the end hmm? Hmm? see look here's another type of PLC this is C code PLC. Um, yeah see this is C code code C code C code yeah C code this is C code you're studying this now uh-huh okay there's C code there look I'll show you what the C code does look look there C code look uh -huh. does that look look and turn so you can turn it like that See? well I've been commanded to go inside well there's there's the uh, there's the uh, command from the other from the boss so, all right then okay so that's that's the um, the uh, the five rung rule so hopefully you, you, you can, people can use that in your next book so thank you very much and thank you for thank you to da for listening so I have to go it's raining okay bye bye <laughs>